Well, good morning, traders. Um, today I want to talk to you about how you can use uh, future options to uh, recover from a trade gone bad. Um, as, as you know, if you watch uh, some of my videos, that I like to trade future pairs. And as you can see right here on the top two lines, that I have a futures pair trade on. I had gone long uh, two contracts on the MNQ, which is the, the, the micro NASDAQ. Uh, at the same time, I went two contracts short on the mini Russell. Um, as you can see right here, this PL open, this is how much each contract is either made or lost since I put this trade on. I put this trade on on Friday. And here it is Monday morning. Um, trade was down about $300 at the close Friday. Or, uh, let's see, excuse me. Trade was down about $200 on the close Friday. Um, and right now, as you can see that this, as uh, the market's live, as you can see, the price is changing around. And this is the uh, profit and loss today. Today I recovered uh, $125 on the NASDAQ and $16 on the Russell. But my current running profit loss uh, is, is round number here is about uh, $40. I'm still $40 down. So uh, at this time, I, I've got uh, order in to close it at a profit. Uh, if it reaches it, it's going to require the NASDAQ to reach about 15,400. So, you know, we're only about 27 points away. So it's very possible today. But uh, as, as the video is, I wanted to show how you could use options. Now here, what I have done is, as you can see, I've got uh, to sell two call contracts with only four days left in the contract. So basically this week, this Friday. Um, I can sell the 15400 which is the price that I'm going to probably need to get out of this trade, get a profit. Uh, I can sell it for $374 a credit. And what I would do, <clears throat> the first thing I would do is close the Russell portion and take my $62 profit, which would leave me, um, and I'm just going to use round numbers because you can see they're changing, take my $60 profit which would leave me $40 negative. <clears throat> but then if I sold these two options for $374 a credit, <coughs> it would, if the um, NASDAQ winds up above 15,400, uh, they would call the future contracts away from me um, at that price. And I would make about $300 up for the entire uh, trade, the, the futures aspect of it and the options. If the NASDAQ does not close at 15,400, let's say it closes down here where it's currently at, at 15,373, I get to keep the $374. And that would be about uh, 30 points on two future contracts, which I would still hold for next week. Uh, so that would be, you know, about uh, $120 short. So I would, st I would still be ahead on the trade overall. So that's just uh, one way you can use uh, futures options. And um, I think what I'll do is make this kind of a, uh, a daily video on this particular trade and show you how it plays out, uh, you know, show you if I do decide to trade options. This is, I'm making the video about quarter to six in the morning. And uh, what I want to do is I, I believe since the market uh, last night when the futures opened, they were down as many, much as 50 points here on the NASDAQ. So now it's recovered to, uh, over 80 points. So I believe when 930 comes, uh, when the uh, stock market opens, there's, there's a good chance that we could recover and, and my trade could close out on the, the futures side alone and I do not have to trade options. But uh, we'll uh, update you tomorrow's video of, of what I did and uh, how it plays out. So um, I hope this um, 
you've learned something from this and uh, good luck to you out there.